Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. Merry Christmas to everyone that celebrates it and happy holidays to everyone else. And in today's episode we're going to be doing custom block models. A bit Christmas themed now I'm going to be making a Santa hat block. But you can obviously you can make any shaped block what you want. So obviously we're going to have to create the block first. So in your block in it, type public static final block. Then the name of your block equals new and then block and its name so block santa hat obviously with the name all the same just like that so create the class in dot objects dot block and i'm going to extend block base add the constructor remove this material tag here and put material and this is santa hat i'm going to put wool the material dot cloth is the wool obviously block base has everything in there we already need there are a few things we want to do though is opaque cube we're going to return false as our model isn't going to be an opaque cube and also is full cube i'm also going to return false once we've done that we're going to, want to add a couple of things firstly we're going to want the block state it's just going to be a really simple block so i copied my block copper there and just created a new one and it's just going to be variant normal santa hat and then the item model for it is going to be the same as well. It's just going to be parenting off. And then we obviously need to create our custom block model. The way we can do this is using Mr. Crayfish's model creator. I'll leave a link in the description. And I'm just going to open it from my files that I've already got saved. I have a program called Tools where I have my two tools that I use frequently. It's a very, very nice program. That allows you to create models. So to create a, uh, just create a cube, you click this cube icon. It's a 16 by 16 by 16 area. Um, even though you can make it actually bigger than that. And so you can increase the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis. And you can also move it around. So I'm gonna quickly go and make the actual model for this. Is create new cubes. You make, make sure to name them. So I'm going to go and create my Santa hat model and then I'll explain the rest of it to you. I haven't fully made it yet, but now I'm going to explain to you how to put textures on it. So you go to the faces tab um, and then for each side, I'm going to choose my bottom left one here, which is this, this cube. You go image, import, find where your default textures are stored. Mine are in D default textures, blocks. Then you import the wool. I'm going to get some wool coloured red. Click apply. So you this UV. There's the two on the right. Are how much of the actual thing you want to like select. How much of the texture you want to select. So as you can see here. Um, it's got lots of lines on it representing the wool. But if I were to reduce the UV. It starts to only get a tiny bit of it. Then you can copy the texture by clicking copy and paste it onto each side just like that and there you go you have a textured uh, cube then I need to go and do this on each of them so you can go and create your custom models using this, this knowledge and I'll be right back once I've finished making mine And here we go, I've finished the diamond model. As you might have seen there, you can quite easily modify textures by importing the image and applying that instead. But here is my Santa hat made in the game. What you want to do here is look at how big it is 
So take a look how many pixels it is across. Mine's 10 by 10. Mine's 10 by 10 by 10. So firstly, you're gonna want to save the project somewhere. So you save it as a model file, which means you can open this up and modify it later. And then you want to export the JSON into wherever your stuff is located. And you want to export it into your assets and into your block model. Calling it the same as you put the name, santahat.json, exporting. So now we're back in here. You're gonna want to get the get bounding box. Up here, you're gonna want a public static final axis aligned BB, which is going to be called um, Santa Hat AABB, and it's equal to a new axis line BB. You want this sixth one here, and this is going to be how many, how far it is inwards, and it's going to be in sixteenths. So, so how many is our X in? It's going to be three inwards, so it's going to be three sixteenths which if you calculate is 0.1875. So put 0.1875D as it's in double. Our Y it starts from zero and this axis line BB here is also 0.1875D. And then this X2 here, since ours is perfectly square, is going to be one minus 0.1875 which is 0.8125 so 0.8125d our y is going to be 10 sixteenths 0.625 and our z here is also going to be 0.8125 so you're going to want here return um, Santa hat AABB. So we have now set our bounding bot and we are going to once now run the game and check for any errors. I received no text errors on startup, which means it should be good. Just to mention if you're obvious if you're making a different thing, obviously you need to make make sure that the AABB is different. So say your block is six pixels in, it'll be six sixteenths will be the amount of double that you put for that value. So let's see if it has spawned. See if it works. We have our Santa hat here. We place it down. And we have a little hat in the game. It doesn't look as good here in Minecraft as it does, but obviously you can create much better models than me. You can even use your own different textures. It doesn't have to be any Minecraft textures. It can be completely anything. I would just use Minecraft textures. But we have created our own little Santa hat. And hopefully you understand how to do custom block models now. So you can create lots of cool things in your game. There are a couple of things more we need to do. We have this tile.santahat.name. So we're going to have to rename it in a lang. And then here, we're also going to want to add a texture for particle. Block slash wool. Colored, I'm going to put red. Obviously, this can be any block for the particle. It'll stop it from being black and purple squares. And up here, you're going to want to put parent block block. And this will make it actually appear as a block in your inventory. If you want it to appear like an item, then you can leave it as it is. But parent block block will make it actually appear as the custom block model when you're holding it. So here, as you can see, um, it is in my hand. But there is one more problem, which is that um, it's really it's really small, it's out of view. So we have to mess around with the item model. So here, here's how to modify the size of it. You want to put the display parameter with the colon and open some same curly brackets. Then first person right hand. So when you're in first person mode, it's in your right hand. Then translation, so moving it, I move it one up. And scale, um, 1.5, I'm making it a tiny bit bigger. 
So this should now look better in the hand. So here you are, you can see it's much better in my hands. And we place it down, it's all got a much smaller hitbox. It's all rendered, there's no, nothing clipping through the ground, which is what would happen if we didn't select, set um, is opaque cube to false. And overall it's all working. Obviously you can go and create all your different custom models. They can be larger than one block wide. Just remember that you have to modify the AABB to be better. So anyway guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more videos. There will be some new things coming in the Christmas period, which I will detail on a video probably based on New Year. So if you're looking forward to some new things on my channel, uh, then leave a like down below and subscribe. Once again, have a good Christmas. Thanks for watching. My name has been Harry and goodbye.